Steel Erection Introduction Process of assembling fabricated members to form a structural skeleton Generally executed by erection contractors Requires proper planning in terms of Material delivery Material handling Material assembly Material connections Proper planning helps to minimize storage requirement and additional handling on site. Things to be keep in mind. Placing of material should be such that lifting process won't be affected. Make sure that the materials have no contact with earth as well as accumulated water. Materials should be placed in sequence and marks should be easily visible. Before erection, proper verification of fabricated material marks, key plan and shipping list should be done at site. Erection Sequence 1. Receiving of material from shop and temporary stacking. 2. Lifting and placing of material and temporary holding in place. 3. Temporary bracing to hold to ensure stability. 4. Alignment of members by bolting or welding permanently. 5. Connecting cladding to the structure. 6. Application of final paint coating. Erection equipment. There are some equipment used for the erection of steel as shown below. Derrick crane. Pneumatic tire mountain crane. Tower crane. Crawling crane. Hydra. Bracing Bracings helps withstand horizontal forces produced by wind, temperature and the movements of crane and other plant in and on the building. It may be permanent or temporary. Typical bracing in a building Roof bracing Vertical bracing Maintaining tolerances Ensure structure is erected within the acceptable tolerance. Misalignment of the structure leading to secondary stresses in the members. Maximum permissible tolerance in erected steel structures. 1. Columns out of plumbness of column axis. From true vertical axis. First heights up to 30 meters. And second heights over 30 meters. Its tolerance in millimeter is plus or minus L slash 1000 or plus or minus 25 whichever is less plus or minus L slash 1200 or plus or minus 35 whichever is less 2. Trusses Lateral shift in location of truss from its true vertical position Its tolerance in millimeter is plus or 10 3. Crane girders and ribs Shift in plane of alignment with respect to true axis of crane rail. Its tolerance in millimeter is plus or 5, 4. Chimney and towers. Out of plumbness, vertically from true vertical axis. Its tolerance I millimeter is 1 one thousandth of the height of their chimney or tower. Bolted connection. Precautions. Parts intended to be bolted together should be in contact over the whole surface. Ensure after erection, more than 50% of the holes joined with bolts. Welding connection. Precautions. The components should be securely held in position to ensure alignment, camber etc., before welding is commenced. Fasteners, nuts, and bolts. They are used to fix different members of structure with each. Ensure procurement is of proper diameter and length, as per requirements. Types, MS versus GI. Approximately, 5 to 6 kg per tn of structural steel. Washers, it is placed in between nut and bolt to give proper tightness to the joint. Anchor bolts fixing procedure. Step 1. Check the numbers and size of bolts to be fixed from working drawing and select template accordingly.
Step 2. Always select diagonally positioned column, pedestals to start with. Step 3. Ensure reinforcement steel arrangement is not fouling with anchor bolts. Step 4. Fix anchor bolts on template with nuts, bolts and washer and with one nut on top and one nut at bottom of template so that it is easy to adjust level of anchor bolt. Step 5. Check the top of bolt level and top of concrete level from working drawing and make the bolts level as per that. Step 6. Check center to center distances and diagonal as per working drawing and fix the bolts and cast with concrete as soon as possible.